guys, welcome back to my channel, I'm Kat. So today I'm trying to look my most piratical because it is the Scally Wagathon, <laughs> which is kind of a pirate reading treasure hunt by Hard Book Hoarder and another person. I will leave their original links down below. Um, there are 10 plus challenges, so they are all pirate or sea adventure themed. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and put my kitchen knives <laughs> away and let's go ahead and get right on into it. Okay, so number one is Siren's Song, um, a book that has mermaids or sirens. So I love books with mermaids and sirens, and I read them all the time, and it just so happens I still have one left on my shelf which should have mermaids in it. So it's Peter Pan by J.M. Barrie, who is a Scottish writer. We all know what Peter Pan is about. We all know it has mermaids in that lagoon, I hope. So we shall see. Number two is Scallywag. A book involving a heist or morally great characters. And for that, I'm gonna go with Crooked Kingdom. So I recently read Six of Crows, which is a heist novel um, involving morally great characters, and this one is the follow-up to the heist still involving those morally great characters, so it couldn't even be a better fit. So I'm really looking forward to getting back into this duology, and I cannot wait to read this book. So number three is but why is the rum gone? Which is such a like genius title. Good job. Um, a book involving a mystery. So for this one, I'm going to go with Ink by Alice Broadway. I will put a thing here. Which involves a world in which your life's story is inked upon your skin. Um, and the girl that we are following, her father has just died. And when she goes to collect his skin book, she finds out that there has been a huge problem and that the things she knew about her fa father aren't real um, or different things have happened in his life than she thought. So it is very much a mystery and it involves skin books and tattoos and I am so here for it. So I have been anticipating this one and I've heard great things about it. The second one I believe just came out recently so if I love it I can immediately read the next one. So perfect. <laughs> so number four is Sail the Seven Seas. Um, a book with a fictional world you want to explore. I am going to repeat and I'm going to say both Peter Pan and Cricket Kingdom. Um, Peter Pan, we all know the world is freaking awesome. Whenever you get there you don't grow up. And this world, which is so awesome, um, the world and the characters are why I love this duology. So I can't wait to get to this one. Number five, The Calm Before the Storm. The first in a series. So for this one, I'm going to choose a book that was on my May TBR, and it is Akata Witch, the first in the series by Nettie Okorafor. And in this one, we're following a girl named Sunny, who is an albino, um, living in a Nigerian-inspired world, and she is going to possibly use her powers to possibly take down a very bad ring of criminals. So I am really looking forward to that, and I think that if I enjoy it, then I would immediately read the next in the series. So I can't wait. Okay, so number six is Treasure Map, a book that has a map in it. So of course I'm going to, sorry, use Crooked Kingdom again, because of course it has the world map, which has um, the elements that were largely important in the last book, as well as where some of the main characters are from. And it also has another map, which is Ketterdam, which is the city that all of the um, main characters meet up in. So, two maps for the price of one book. Perfect. Number seven is Sharkbait. It has red on the cover, which I also love that one. So for this one, I'm gonna go with Red Robe um, by John Courtney Grimwood, who is an English writer. And in this one, we follow three or four main characters, and I did try to attempt to read this last month, and I got oh, you know, that far, um, because the ideas in the book are great. Uh, we follow an assassin who has a speaking gun, we follow a kinder whore who is being shipped to an off-colony um, internment camp, refugee camp, um, we're following a pope who stole a lot of money, and all the elements are really cool separately, but I don't know how well they work as a story, so I'm gonna give this a go, this will be the final trial for this book, and if I don't read it this month, then I might have to go ahead and unhaul it. So good luck, little buddy. Good luck. <laughs> Number eight is Yo Ho Ho, a book that starts with R. So funny enough, this one starts with R, and actually it's two R's. So red robe, and it has a red cover. Like, does it get any better? So I'm gonna go ahead and use this one for that challenge as well. So now we're in a detour section. So within the detour, there are three sections. So there's a marooned, which is a standalone. So for this one, I am going to go ahead and say Peter Pan, which is a standalone to the best of my knowledge. <laughs> and B, There She Blows, 
a book that's exploded with popularity this year, or could be an old or new release. So for this one, I'm going to interpret that as a hyped book, and I'm going to go with, again, Crooked Kingdom, because I can't think of um, books that I have on my shelves or on my Kindle that are more hyped than this. I think that this is super hyped, and the first one was uber hyped, so we shall see how it goes. And C is Walk the Plank, a book that you have seen someone unhaul. So this one it took me forever because I actually don't have any books that I think people have unhauled, at least that I saw, that I haven't read. So for this one, I'm going to say Red Robe again because if I don't like it, I will unhaul it. So I guess that counts. <laughs> I don't have any that I know that people have unhauled, so um, this is going to go ahead and stand in for that. Now we are back on track, and number nine is Blow Down the Man, um, a book by a woman author. And for this one, I have three books, um, so Crooked Kingdom by Lee Bardugo, Akata Witch by Nettie Okorafor, and Ink by Alice Broadway. They are all by ladies. Nice job, ladies. <laughs> And the last one, number 10, is Land Lover, a book with a character who is unlike you. So again, I'm going to choose Akata Witch. The character is from Africa, specifically I believe kind of around Nigeria, and she is an albino, and she has magic powers, and she deals with um, a lot of danger and violence and gangs within her daily life, all of which elements I have not experienced. So I am looking forward to that. So this finishes up the Scallywagathon TBR, and I'm really excited because it's a combination of books that were already on my May TBR and books that I really want to get to, i.e. Crooked Kingdom because I just finished Six of Crows, um, and some books that I'm going to give a go that I've given a go before and it's the kind of their last chance, so if they don't make it during this readathon, then they're not going to make it coming with me to Australia, so we shall see. So please do let me know if you guys are doing this readathon, and um, if you're not, why not? Um, it's so much fun, and I just love everything to do with um, pirates and mermaids and everything that I just talked about. So um, if any of these things sound up your alley, give it a go. It sounds amazing, and I love um, Ally from Hard Book Hardback Quarter, so I wanted to do it because it sounds great. Um, I hope you guys are having an awesome day. Um, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up or hit the subscribe button. It would really mean a lot, and I will talk to you later. Bye! Toodles!